Hello, I'm Carlos Coronado, the game developer of Infernium, and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to connect your Twitch to Infernium. The perks of connecting Twitch with Infernium are quite simple. You will make your chat able to interact and to actually make stuff happen in game via a boring system, which I'm going to explain shortly. But first, let's connect Twitch. To connect Twitch, it's actually really, really easy. You just go to Twitch. So, as you can see, we're now in the Twitch menu and it says not connected, so let's actually connect it. First, you would need your username, like this, and remember to erase the type. My channel is actually the same. And to get the Twitch OAuth, you could just click Tutorial, and here you just go down and click OAuth, and then connect with Twitch. And then you just copy this. It's better if you keep that secret. But this is a tutorial. So I'm going to paste it here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click connect to Twitch. But I want you to realize that I'm doing this process while I'm streaming but I'm not online. So you can actually do this beforehand. Beforehand your stream. If you quit the game you will have to do it again, so just take that into consideration. Okay, so to connect now, I'm just going to click to connect to Twitch. Now it's trying to connect, and it says that I need to type something here, so that's what actually I'm going to do. Type in something. And it's not working. Why is not working? Because I forgot an I here. <laughs> See? Connection failure, could not read any message from the chat. Why is that? Because I misspelled my channel. I'm going to get rid of that. And put the correct one here. And now connect to Twitch. Type something in the chat. And yeah, it was successful. Now it says connection successful and automated message appeared in the chat. Alright. Then remember if you close the game you will have to connect again. Message appeared. And yeah, that's that's actually it, that's actually what you need. So actually the way the Twitch integration in Infernium works is quite simple. Uh, every time the streamer harvests light with the harvesting fingers, as you see I only have one, you will also start feeling the Twitch counter, so to speak. And when you catch one full finger of, of light, you will give the ability to your chat to vote between three options and after some time has passed one of those three options will actually take effect in game so let, let's see how that works so i'm going to harvest some light for example let's get this one let's get this one also that one and you see that it's also appearing in the chat, some text. That's good. That's exactly what we want. So, let me catch this slide over here. Let's see. And boom, here we go. Yeah, so now the voting started. As you see, it's with the time remaining and everything, and now my chat is going to vote. So, create your 299 body for option number 2 to spawn a fake enemy in 20 seconds, and also a bummer. If they try to vote again, the votes won't count. As you can see, it doesn't add up. See, it's still two votes. So, I'm going to vote because I'm a streamer and I want. Uh, and I want more energy, so I'm going to vote for option 1 but of course I don't have enough bots so when the time is done uh, I think yeah, option 2 is going to win so let's see what happens when it wins also while the boarding is in place uh, the light that the streamer harvest won't come throwers making another event you'll see now Boom, boat finishing, boom! The chance shoot to spawn a fake enemy in 20 seconds. And now, if everything is correct, you'll see nearby something will happen. 
No enemies here. Dun -dun. Oh! And there it is, our fake enemy. And of course, if I approach him, he behaves like a normal enemy, like a normal enemy, but when I touch him, instead of dying myself, he dies. So yeah, that's how the integration works. And if you see the chat, say warning, harvested light will start counting again from now on. So if I catch, if I harvest more light, I will start feeling the Twitch counter again. The good thing about this is that uh, I'm not going to sp to spoil you the pool of events, but it's a it's a long list. There's things like I don't know, like making uh, the teleport, making the game faster until you teleport, uh, more play speed, and ex extra energy, fake enemy, spawn and explode. I'm, I, I don't want to spoil the full list, but it's a it's. The chat can help the player, or also he can. The chat can uh, fuck with the streamer. He can. The chat can, you know, make ugly things to the streamer that are going to make him more, even more paranoid. So yeah, that's how the Twitch integration works. So hope you like it, and uh, thanks for watching.